to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Let your light so shine. The Bible says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Jesus began a discussion and he was letting the people listening to him, he, he told them, he started by saying from verse 13 that you are the salt of the earth. And he says, if the salt has lost its sever, wherewith shall it be salted, that it is good for nothing except to be cast down and trodden underfoot by men and then he says you are the light of the world you are a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden he says neither do men light their lamp and put it under a bushel but upon a candlestick or a lampstand that it may give light to all who are in the house knowing this he leaves you with an instruction permit your light if it is true that you are the light and you have light, he says, let that light so shine. So shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So we have here a mandate to allow our light to so shine and he tells you that he wants the light to so shine before men. Not just in the realm of the spirit, that it will shine before men. He wants men to see that light that shines. Because in seeing it, they will glorify the Father. John chapter 6 and verse 28. A gentleman asks the Lord a very interesting question. John 6, 28. Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might walk the works of God? Just keep the scripture there, 28. So there is such a thing called the work of God. 628. Please leave the scripture there. 628. What shall we do? It's a question that we might walk the works of that does not belong to the realm of men. There are some works called the works of God. That means this one is notable. We cannot trace it to an, earth, an earthly origin. This dimension of result, this realm of possibility is beyond the realm and the scope of men. And they are asking him a question. Tell us, what must we do? We know that there is a responsibility component to this. We cannot sit down and just allow our lives hoping that it will work the works of God. What shall we do? We want to see extraordinary manifestations and demonstrations of the power, the grace, and the possibilities of heaven. But the question is, what shall we do? The question is not, can the works of God happen? It is, what must we do? What must I do to walk the works of God? It is important for believers to understand that the life we have been called to, just like your lovely worship team sang, that this Zoe life we have been given is a life that has within it limitless spiritual possibilities. It is not the God kind of life. It is God's very life. If it is the God kind of life, it means another Holy Spirit gave us. But it is the very spirit of Christ 
that administered that life. It's not just the kind. It is the very life of God. And the Zoe life is beyond eternal life. Because that quality is superior to just longevity. Even those who die without Christ will experience eternal life. It is just in a dimension that is not heaven. Are we together? So when you preach to sinners, you don't ask them, will you spend eternity? The question is location, not the possibility. In the story of Lazarus, Lazarus and the rich man, when they were done with earth, they were still alive, but in another dimension. Are we together? So it's a superior quality of life that we have been given. But it's important for you to know that even though it is a fact from scripture, that when we encounter the son, we have this life because the Lord structured the administration of the life of God such that you must encounter the son to have that life. He says, this is the record that God had given us eternal life. Is that true? He says, but this life is in his son. That means if you tell me you have that life, I have to verify whether you have met the son. If you have not met the son, then it is not the life of God. Hallelujah. But then just because you have the life, listen carefully please, in all its, its potential, you can spend all the days of your earth work not unraveling the limitless possibilities that are contained in that life. Is that true? Yeah. For instance, I can give you a gadget or a device that sustains many, many possibilities but you can hold that gadget and so underutilize it that it almost becomes a burden to you until that gadget steps into the hand of someone else who is equipped with the requisite level of revelation then you will begin to see the potential and then while you admire his use of that gadget he will tell you you are holding the exact same thing hallelujah i used to use a phone, I think before this or the one, before, I don't know which one. But one time I saw a Chinese man using my same phone. We were flying somewhere. And I could not believe what he was doing with it. Now I'm not, I'm quite frankly not a gadget person. It doesn't really, once I can do the basic things, I'm content. I saw what this man was doing. My same phone, only that it was in Chinese. Everything was written there. And I mean with, with mastery. I said, you see what ignorance can do? I'm seated here with someone by my side and he's teaching me a lesson the pain of underutilizing great things because of ignorance that for me was a lesson there are many people who are active recipients of this life today you sang it you rejoiced over it but then he says if it is true that that life is within you he says let your light so shine let it shine before men that they may see. There is a testimony that God is waiting for that will not come just from you. It will come from those who see the wonder-working power, the display of the works of God in and through your life. It says that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Hallelujah. So there are demands the truth is that it is in our destiny in Christ to be proof producers. That your life consistently becomes a message and a living episode. Every day, episode after episode, you never plateau. The Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light. Are we learning? That shines brighter and brighter even unto the perfect day. Unfortunately, many believers do not even scratch the surface of the potential of this life that we have. Nor do they ever command the levels and the kinds of results that bring glory to the name of the Lord. It takes more than singing it. It takes more than reciting it. Your life must demonstrate the reality. Hallelujah. It was our father, God's servant, Bishop Oedepo, that said, only fools doubt proofs. The end of every argument is an evidence. When there is an evidence before you, 
it brings to end every argument in acts chapter 3 the bible talks to us about the man who was at gate beautiful and he was there for many 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 only god knows how long then the bible says one time peter and john went to pray it was the hour of prayer and they met that man he looked on them expecting to receive arms and he said silver and gold i do not have but such as i have give i unto you in the name of jesus christ he says rise up and walk he lifted the man and the man got up and because of that miracle the noise that came from that miracle it it he did not have to say anything one genuine miracle made noise until he was summoned the council called him and they said you must defend what we are hearing is it a rumor the good news is that he did not go alone he went with his evidence he stood before them the bible says then he began to narrate the basic and the Bible says when they heard what he said, even though they did not want to believe it, they could not deny. Now, this is what we are talking about. You don't need to like what you are hearing. But once the evidence stands before you, listen, do you know how Jesus began to preach? In one of the synoptic accounts, he did not begin with a sermon. He began with strange wonders. Imagine you wake up in the morning and the headlines everywhere is strange. Who is this young man moving from place to place? And when he was done, then he said, now you are ready to listen. And everybody came and sat down and he began to teach them. Even if you were uncomfortable with what he was saying, how could you deny what was happening the reason why for many of us we do not command the attention of our territories is there is too much speaking without the evidence that validates the truthfulness of what you are saying so when you say god is faithful you stand alone when you say god can give speed you stand alone when you say god can restore you stand alone and there is no evidence in the name of jesus and by reason of this conference you will no longer stand alone speaking. There will be notable evidences that stand before you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In fact, you see, the kingdom was designed such that you would not even have to speak for too long. Your speaking is just to introduce the presence of the evidence. And the evidence will continue the speaking. When Moses stood before Pharaoh, he did not waste his time with long grammar from morning till night. He introduced himself and said, I was sent. And I know that you are going to doubt it. But here is the evidence that I met God. And the rod continued to do the speaking. Are we together? Everybody say, I believe in results. Believe. One more time. Say, I believe in results. Believe. Please sit down. What must I do to walk the works of God? I have studied very carefully by the Spirit of God the subject of supernatural living, the subject of results, because it is my determination as a person and as a child of God that as much as it is within my power and by the advantage of God's grace that my life becomes sufficient result that can bring, it can compel nations to see that he's alive and to reintroduce dimensions of his power even to my generation and so that consistently has been my study please pay attention to what you are about to hear i want to show you the missing link because there are many people who desire to see the power of god there are many people who desire to see dramatic results across their lives and they may be sincere and even well-meaning except that in this kingdom every level of result is knowledge driven every level and every dimension of results is knowledge driven again it's our father in the lord bishop Oyedebo, who said do not assume anything he said learn everything do not assume anything once it is not working in your life take responsibility you do not know it hallelujah are we blessed so let me share with us what i wrote here as the dynamics of the supernatural that if you walk these keys 
and activate them in your life then everything you heard the man of God declare and challenge you towards will become your experience in here and now if you believe that shout a loud amen, amen. the first key you want to walk the walks of God you want to see the supernatural notable undeniable dimensions of the hand of God in ministry in finances in whatever area the first requirement non-negotiable requirement is light light the power of light sufficient spiritual illumination knowledge and understanding please write it down light john chapter 1 and verse 3 john chapter 1 and verse 3 the bible says all things were made by him the him there being the word in fact john 1 and verse 1 says in the beginning god i mean he says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god is that true and the word was god verse 2 says the same was with god in the beginning verse 3 all things how many things including extraordinary finances does it is it part of all things including an enviable destiny all things were made by him and he says without him that means outside of his influence and participation was not anything made that was made and then verse 4 says in him was life everybody say in him was life and that that life was the light of man so you know where the light comes from now in him the word was life and that life now translates to the light in him was life and that life was the light of man so when you are in search for light where do you go to the word of god is the exclusive custodian of god's light very powerful light colossians chapter 1 and verse 16 still speaking about the word of god that produces light colossians 1 16. it says for by him were all things created is that in your bible the things that are in heaven the things that are in earth visible and invisible whether they be thrones dominions principalities powers all things were created by him and for him in acts chapter 20 and verse 32 acts 20 and verse 32 it says and now brethren i commend you to god and to the word of his grace which is able in it is ability to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified so among them that are sanctified not, not everybody has that inheritance they are still sanctified but among them that are sanctified a few people can be separated who become possessors in experience and he says it is the word the word will come in the midst of those who are sanctified and separate a few people may you be part of those people in the name of jesus christ that you will be a notable christian it will be clear in your that your life is not ordinary it will not just be a cliche nor a blind confession a walking living epistle of the mighty power and grace of God everybody say light Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 15 light according to scripture represents understanding it represents knowledge here's what it says the labor of the foolish the foolish here not being an insult is a description of a state are we together the labor of the foolish weary yet every one of them why because he knoweth not how to go to the city not because there is no city the labor of the foolish weary yet every one of them psalm 45 and verse 4 psalm 45 and verse 4 
45 and verse 4, Psalms. It says, write prosperously in your majesty. Write prosperously because of truth. So your triumphant entry is not about desire alone. If you must have a triumphant entry to your place of honor, you will ride prosperously. The chariot that you carry you into that place of dominion and honor is truth. Are we learning? So everything we seek to come into its reality in this kingdom is dependent on light. Now please hear me. Please listen very carefully. No amount of prayer, no amount of fasting, no amount of spiritual activity will replace the genuine pursuit for light. All of these experiences are wonderful, but when you ignore, in ignorance, they are powerless. What empowers fasting what empowers prayer? What empowers giving? What empowers spiritual activity? The battery that gives these activities their power is the light that supports them, not the activity in itself. You can fast and not obtain any results. You can pray and not obtain any results. In fact, I tell you, you can drop a seed down and not obtain any result. What turns your seed from donation to a spiritual transaction in the realm of the spirit, God himself being a witness, is not the money, is not your hands, is not your dropping it down, is the revelation that powered that activity. Are we together? He said, who do men say that I the son of man am? And he said, some say you are this and that. He said, but who do you say that I am? They kept quiet. And Peter said, I know who thou art. Thou art Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus said, flesh and blood has not revealed. So that level of certainty is the level of revelation, not assumption. You can hold a beautiful clock, even if it was gold plated. Once there is no battery, it will stand as a monument before you. That is how spiritual activities remain powerless, waiting for light. How many of you have seen that when the power holding company, when there is no light, all the lovely gadgets in your house do not have to disappear, but you are still frustrated. Because what powers it? Your AC is there, two horsepower, three horsepower, whatever horsepower with the warranty on it. And yet, you can sit there wondering. Your fridge is there with all kinds of things there. And simply because one principal factor was not in place. The fridge is not spoiled. You can even buy another one. It, the effect will still be the same. You can say, no, no, no. It's not Panasonic. I want, I want Sony. I want this. The effect will be the same. But with one blink of light, everything instantaneously. Listen, do you know no matter how long light has been off the moment it comes it does not take time for the gadgets to respond at the instance of light the darkness the light will not calculate the times of darkness without it and then cover it slowly the gadget that has stayed not powered for two days not powered for one year not powered for one week not powered for one hour they will respond the same way the moment the light is off let me prophesy to someone i don't care how long you have waited in the name of jesus the son of the living god at the instance of light go forward at the instance of light make progress in the name of jesus christ please sit down John chapter 1 and verse 5. It says, and the light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. Is someone learning? The first requirement for extraordinary manifestations, extraordinary results is not desire, is light. So you arise and shine according to Isaiah 60 and verse 1. I will always like to quote it from Amplified. It says, arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you. It says, rise to a new light. 
arise from the depression and the prostration which circumstances have kept you rise to a new life you don't arise because you are tired of sitting you arise because your light is come it says the people that sat in darkness have seen a great light that means the miracle that controls your rising is light when God wants to show a man mercy, he shortens the distance between you and the light that should lift you. When God wants to show you mercy, he will shorten the distance between you and the light that you need to encounter. But for as long as there is darkness, the dominion of evil remains undisturbed. It will remain there. Light. The word of God, which is the principal communicator of light. You may have heard me teach it. Listen carefully now. That the word of God essentially contains three things. Number one, promises. Please write. Number two, principles. Number three, prophecies. Every time you open scripture, you are having an encounter with these three spiritual dimensions. Number one again promises god's commitment to you number two principles showing you the modus operandi of the kingdom number three prophecies the spiritual compass that guides your life here and now and even in the future connecting the past the present and the future everybody say promises say principles say prophecies Promises, principles, prophecies. This is what you find in the word of God. The Lord showed me a scripture that I saw in the new light. Maybe I should just touch it very quickly. In Genesis chapter 1 and verse 5. Genesis 1 and verse 5. The Bible says, and God called the light day what did god call the light <laughs> and he says the darkness he called night so god had to give light a name day and darkness he called night and then the bible lists for us the many activities that are associated with night and day one of it is weeping it says the moment there is night it is related to weeping is that true that means if you want to turn your night to day in God's economy, you don't wait for time. You bring sufficient light that can turn that night to day. In God's economy, it's not the movement of time that brings night or day. Whenever light, sufficient illumination that can swallow darkness comes, even if it is by 12 midnight, he calls it It says, though weeping endures for a night, that joy comes with the morning. So you can choose when your day starts. And if you are like Joshua, thank God his name is Joshua. You can ask the sun, stand still. I am tired of night. That means I, I seize this regulating day and night and day and night. Crying and laughing, crying and laughing. The, my son can stand still. So that whether... It is a geographic day or night in my realm. It can be day. Was it not demonstrated in Goshen, even in Egypt, that when darkness was swallowing them, have you mastered the art of keeping your day stable? The light he called day and the darkness he called night. Hallelujah. The moment your light comes, it has become day for you. The moment your light comes, there are many people whose light came in the night. While they were studying, geographically speaking in the night, but light came. And for them, that was the end of night. So whether it is physical day or night, in your realm it remains day, perpetually. He said he made two great lights 
one to rule in the day and one to rule in the night have you gone to the stadium in the night and sometimes when they are playing a match or a crusade if they if they blindfold you and you come there you will not even know whether it's day or night because of the high level of illumination you have to look at the sky to know that oh it's night hallelujah someone shout light now please sit down there are two reasons according to scripture why jesus cried in the bible the bible records that jesus wept john eleven thirty five. 35 that's the first reason why he cried he cried because he was at lazarus's grave and the bible says when he cried they said oh how he loved him so he was moved with compassion and he cried second reason why he cried i believe that should be luke 19 from verse 41 and 42 luke chapter 19 from verse 41 the bible says he came near and beheld that city jerusalem now and wept over it why did he cry 42 saying if thou hast known even thou at least in this thy day the things which belong unto thy peace it says but they are hid from your eyes not from your hands from your eyes because your hands will only hold what your eyes have seen it doesn't have to be hidden from your hands it can be close to your hands and yet hidden from your eyes are we are we learning now the bible says in sodom and gomorrah when the angels came to rescue lot when he got there he met a level of moral decadence in sodom and gomorrah and when the angels went in to lot's room the people in that land came and said where are these angels that we may know them are you in your is that in your bible and then lord said no 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 don't do this kind of abomination against the lord i will even give you my daughters and they said no is these angels that we want and the bible says the angels drew lot inside and struck the people with blindness and the bible leaves a very interesting statement he said they wearied themselves at the door they were right there at the door and because they were blind their hands were okay the art of just bending the knob to open it they wearied themselves there are many people who are standing in front of the door but simply because their eyes are closed, they weary themselves at the door. The miracle of open eyes is a real miracle. The miracle of open eyes is a real miracle. Every time Jesus saw blind people, he did not leave them in that condition. It was a message. Many believers, I submit to you, are very blind spiritually and are not interested in learning the ways of God but they are interested in the results that follow his ways you see the way it works is you have to know the ways of God to experience his glory if you cannot experience if you don't know his ways you cannot know his glory Exodus 33 the first request that Moses made was in verse 15 it says Lord show me your way show me your way show me your way did i get that right exodus uh show me your way and then you back up to verse 18 that will be exodus what now and he says show me your glory so it was his way first and then his glory show me your way and then show me your glory thank you verse 13 now it says show me thy way is that true so he first asked of his way now go to verse 18 five verses later and he now pleaded and said show me your glory so if you do not know his ways you cannot know his glory many believers desire the glory of god but they do not want to learn the ways of god I wrote down here, in this kingdom, dominion in any area is based on sufficient knowledge, not just knowledge. Let's read it together if you can see it projected. Can we read together? One to read. 
If any man think that he knoweth anything, he says he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know. I will always give this example. Please look at me, everybody. For a student in school who scores 10% over 100, a student who scores 20%, a student who scores 30% and a student who scores 35%, who was the highest? Who passed in a great system of A to F? Are you seeing that now? If you are to give an award based on who was the highest, the one who got 35 will come to receive the award as the highest. But if you are to qualify them based on who scored F, or D, or E, or C. All of them failed. That means the one who scored zero, the one who didn't write the exam, and the one who passed more will all stand in the same category. It is dangerous to know little because you will receive the same recompense with the person who is not even serious. This is the challenge with many believers. Something small about finances, something small about prayer, something small about the Holy Ghost, something small about speed, something small about victory. And you find out that our results become the same as the person who is absolutely not interested in the things of God. And we say, Lord, this is unfair, but at least I go to church. Do not forget my, an my analogy. 35 over 100, based on the great system, is the same. Could that be why many, many believers don't seem to rise to the point where people can look at you and say, at least me, I'm sure I'm not serious with God. But you who looks like you are serious, why are our results the same? In the name of Jesus, the kind of light that fires from heaven through his word to you, it will produce a clear difference between you and anyone who is not serious with God. Please sit down. sufficient knowledge sufficient not enough the person who gets a may not get hundred but he did not fail too far to be mocked are we together everybody say light let me challenge you therefore in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god this is not the season for empty noise this is the season to go back and camp with the truth. Some of you, after this conference, go and get pastor's materials. Don't say, I was there when he taught it. Has the result justified your being there that day? Camp with it. Lord, this finance thing, I am tired. You are lifting my prophet. You are honoring him, giving him a voice. I can't be here sitting saying amen every Sunday. And this thing is not changing. And you go and camp with it. The Bible says, through desire, Proverbs 18.1, a man haven't separated him. You see, most, you don't hear these kinds of testimonies again, where people will tell you, I took a three days retreat in prayer and fasting, locking myself with the word. Father, let light come from heaven. There has to be a way. Why is this thing not moving? Can I tell you, the only person who receives an answer is the one who can ask a question. An answer is a harvest. The seed is a question. If you are too proud to ask and to inquire, you are also too proud to receive. Father, why is this not working? That to take care of two children, I'm a Christian, I love God, and it looks like I'm dying. Whereas there is someone who, as at the time I came to Abuja, I was the one helping this person. It's not unhealthy comparison, but I'm provoking myself unto godliness. There has to be a way. The Bible says in Jeremiah, chapter, has God helped somebody tonight? It says, Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the good path, wherein is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk. There are many, many people 
who are absolutely bankrupt of results and only remain as commentators in life. I have never seen, I may be wrong, but I've never seen five wins. They are the ones who lift the profit. And when they are converting it to cash, I'm not aware that they call anybody anywhere and say, because you were in the stadium, come and share. Stop being a fan and challenge yourself as this fan mentality that I am just around good things but I never partake of it. I, I'm always, I was there when he testified. I was there when they prophesied. I was there, I saw the person fall down. I saw the person cry. I was there 10 years ago. I still remember a fan mentality. You must challenge yourself. Lord, if it will happen, I will be part of it. In the name of Jesus Christ, someone shout light. Please, in one minute, I'd like you to lay your hands on your head and declare, open up, open up for light. I speak to my destiny. Uh, I've encompassed this mountain long enough. Open up. Someone you are prophesying in the name of Jesus. I am a man of God, but I am tired of this level of ministry. Lord, stretch me to a higher level by the power of light. Bring exactitude to my results, exactitude and mastery to my spiritual experience. In the name of Jesus, please sit down. So the first non-negotiable requirement, if your life must be extraordinary and if you must host and manifest superior dimensions of the glory of God, is light access to knowledge you must know what is there this kingdom is knowledge dependent number two now pay attention to this one the second key is the knowledge of the conditions required to activate the promises of God the knowledge of the conditions required to activate the promises of God. It is one thing to know what God has said. And respectfully speaking, you can die there with sufficient knowledge that God said it. Knowing that God said it does not make it happen. You must know what conditions have been connected to that promise. I submit to you in the name of Jesus Christ that this is where many, many, many believers including church people have missed it we are full of the knowledge of what god has said but most people do not contend to move further to know the conditions that are connected deuteronomy chapter 28 please from verse 1 and 2 deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2 it shall come to pass, the Bible says, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To do what? To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. It says that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. Verse 2. And all these blessings. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if 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 knowing the blessings will not make them happen reciting them may not make them happen listen most believers know what god has said but they do not know what it takes the demands the conditions connected to it I know it is my destiny in Christ to rise, but what condition was connected to that? I know it is in my destiny to prosper, but what condition is connected to that? Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 1 from verse 19 and 20. Isaiah chapter 1, 19 and 20. It says, if ye be willing and obedient ye shall eat the good of the land verse 20 but if ye refuse and rebel 
ye shall be devoured with the sword for the mouth of the Lord had spoken it. Apostle, there is good in that land just like pastor was sharing. He has revealed to you, I was so blessed. In fact, I think we should look at that scripture again. Deuteronomy chapter 8 from verse 7 to 9. Deuteronomy chapter 8, 7 to 9. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee into a good land. Let your amen not just mean let it be so. Let your amen also mean I amen to obtain grace to find out what it takes. A land of brooks of water, of fountains and depths that spring out of valleys and hills. Reading to verse 9. A land of wheat and barley, vines and fig trees, pomegranates and of oil and of honey. A land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness. So there is such a realm as that. A land where thou shalt not lack anything in it. A land whose stones are iron and whose hills thou mayest dig as brass. The average believer will say amen. And leave this statement as a parable. And a painful, a painful memory verse in your life. But somebody will say, Lord, I have found what you have said. What is my own part? What do I need to do? Listen carefully. For some of you here, this is the reason why 2019 has become the same thing as 2020. Regardless of the prophecy. 2020, the same thing as 2021. And if you don't hear this, I pray not that 2022 becomes just like last year. The demands, the demands, what does it take? What does it take, oh God, to be the head and not the tail? What does it take, oh God, to become a voice? What does it take, oh God, to command the attention of heaven? What does it take to carry genuine spiritual power? What does it take to attract favor to my domain perpetually? Show us the ancient path. Will you lead us along eternal highway? We want to follow the ways of Jesus. We want to enter your rest. Show us the ancient path. Will you lead us along? eternal highway we want to follow the footsteps of jesus we want to enter your rest the knowledge of the conditions required listen every time you find a promise in scripture draw two lines write that promise on one side then begin the part two of your learning. What is the condition, oh God? Don't just say, I am the head and not the tail. If it is your confession to build up, fine. But if you mean just by speaking it, it will automatically happen. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you may sit there waiting and waiting and waiting even forever. Everybody say conditions. Every time you read the Bible, you will find out, ladies and gentlemen, that scripture is full of people who triumph because they not only saw the possibilities, but they stayed until they also received the conditions. I'll give you an example. The Bible talks about Jericho, popular scripture. How that it was shot, nothing would go in, nothing would come out. How in the world would you defeat such a city that five chariots could stand on the fence? And Joshua had to wait to know what is our own part. Victory is certain. God has spoken. Victory is not in our efforts. Victory is in his voice. So because he has spoken, we know that victory is there. But now, walking in the reality of that victory, they had to wait until he came. And he said, here is the instruction that is connected. Your own path is go around once. They would have said, why do we need to go around once? Let's just go around six times in one day. Once. And on the sixth day, 
he said don't mind what you see just keep moving and at the seventh time he said shout i thought you would say fight he said shout is it in your bible the bible says as they shouted that wall crumbled it didn't fall it sank because if the wall falls it will still become another fence it sank when peter saw jesus walking on water he wanted the same results and jesus said the result is obtainable if it be thou bid me come the instruction come not swim come peter would have said i'm a fisherman i will swim when i come to you mm -mm. come listen i challenge you in the name of jesus go and write down every area you need to see the glory of god in your life and then contend for grace contend for grace i think it's leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6 please give it to us leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6 and moses said this is the thing which the lord commanded that ye should do he says and the glory of the lord shall appear there is always what you will do this is the thing that the Lord commanded that you should do. Are we together? Condition number three. And we'll wrap it up for tonight. Are you ready for number three? The third key or requirement if you want to see notable extraordinary manifestations of the grace of God you want to command supernatural possibilities is that you must be ready to take actions of obedience actions of obedience not actions actions of obedience in one word we call it faith faith in one word is action actions of obedience faith is more than believing faith is more than confessing faith is more than wishing faith is more than speaking positively until there is action in the direction of obedience you are not walking by faith luke chapter 1 and verse 45 mary again with the angel when he came to Mary, Luke chapter 1 and verse 45. It says, blessed is she that believed. Is that in your Bible? It says, for there shall be a performance. Say performance. Of those things that were told her. Say told her. There is a difference between what was told, even though it's the Lord who said it, and a performance of it. God said it to me. We don't doubt it. But it takes another dynamics to have its performance. Blessed is she that believed. The word believe there does not just mean merely agree with God. Mm -mm. Blessed is she that puts herself in a position where she's willing to act even as directed by the Lord. Are we together now? Yes. For unto her there shall be a performance. Acts chapter 3 and verse 16. In defense of the miracle that had happened, Peter stood before the council and he said, And his name, through faith in his name, had made this man strong. Whom ye see and know. It was not just the name. It was faith in the name. The name is powerful whether it works for you or not. It is powerful. But it is your faith in the name that draws that power to your direction. Listen, if you never receive a miracle from God ever in your lifetime, it does not change the potency of who he is. In his name and in his person that will now channel your portion of that testimony to you. Everybody say faith say obedience very important he preached as well as unto them but the word preached did not profit them 
Why? Not being mixed. Means two people can come to me. All shout hallelujah. And they will go back and return with two kinds of results. And the Bible is saying it is not the deficiency of the quality of what was preached. But that everything you hear must be mixed with faith to profit. That means everything you hear should profit. Wow. Whatever profits can also bring losses. Depending on what you mixed with or otherwise. The word they heard did not profit them. Not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Actions of obedience. Ended for high level spiritual illumination. To understand the promises of God and to understand the principles, the modus operandi of the kingdom. And then there are those who have paid the price to learn. They are aware. They are not in ignorance. But they have not yet found the place of personal responsibility. Working in partnership with God to manifest supernatural possibilities. I know people who are excellent teachers. But they are far from proof producers. It is dangerous to know what should be and yet your life cannot capture it. You will be more frustrated than the person who is in ignorance. Because for you, the problem is not ignorance. The problem is lack of completion. You have not completed that equation. The conditions. And then number three, obedience. You must obtain grace to obey. You must obtain grace to obey. I give you an instance. There are many greedy and stingy believers who are wondering why they are poor. Why should you wonder why you are poor? Hallelujah. It's like not taking your bath for one week and you are surprised that your body is smelling. Why should you be surprised? Are we together now? It's like not eating for three days and being surprised that you are hungry. Or it's like eating overfeeding and being surprised that you are too full. No. Some things naturally lead to certain consequences. And there are those, for instance, who give, but they are not diligent. They have not found out the other principles that are connected for lasting wealth. So they give, and by the integrity of God's word, testimonies come, but it vanishes because they have not learned how to replenish. Being fruitful is a level until you know how to reap. This already is a revelation for someone. You see, let me tell you this. Half truth can destroy, sometimes it can cause a greater catastrophe than even error or ignorance. Half truth, one of Satan's most effective weapons. Once he finds out you are so passionate about God, he can no longer bring error, so he will bring half-truth. Truth that is not complete. Are we together? Obedience. Obedience to his divine instructions. Obedience to what he has said to do. The Bible says, let every man give as he has purposed in his heart. I'm using that as an example. Not grudgingly, nor of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. For instance, there are those who do not even see the first level of wealth and prosperity. You know why? You are earning 500,000 and 1 million. I, I don't mean to challenge you, but I have to tell you the truth. You come to church, when it's offering time or giving time, you check your wallet, you bring out 500, you push it back. You bring out 200, you push it back. You bring out 100 naira, the new one, you push it back. Then you bring out the old one and just drop it quickly. And immediately after service, you are going straight to a restaurant, you will burn 20,000 at a moment. And God is watching. He's watching because where your treasure is, that is where your heart is also. Listen, I know that people have abused these things, but I have to teach you the truth. Don't just say, why is the heaven open unusually over certain people? Find out what they are doing. Are we together? Yes. There are people who are praying and holding on to the horns of the altar. 
designing their future in the place of prayer and there are others wishing and hoping and then they look and say life is not fair why are things just happening for this man of God and doors opening do you know the times that are invested in prayer commanding your morning redesigning things by the power of the spirit is a risk to enter a day you did not command no God makes the day but you rearrange it by faith to line up with what he said that day should be. Don't assume that just because he made the day, it will be nice. Do you not read that while men slept, Satan will also come and plant something that was not planted by the original farmer. So he planted favor and peace and lifting and speed. But because you were asleep, Satan came quickly and planted other things. He spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Hallelujah. Principles of favor, for instance. You are wondering why you were, you were retrieved from work alongside your colleague. In two weeks, he's gotten another job. And within that two weeks, he was even richer and more comfortable because you have not learned the dynamics of living in the kingdom. For you, the only thing you believe that controls greatness is money. And this person has placed value on relationships. So when there is no job, the relationship can be his stream of income. Supplementing him before another comes. Please damage ignorance from your life. Fight it like you fight Satan. Obedience. Like I said earlier on, let me say it again as we seek to conclude. No amount of prayer... Please listen to me, beloved people of God. No amount of fasting, no amount of spiritual activity will ever replace or substitute obedience. You can't fast as a replacement for obedience. You can't pray as a replacement for actions of obedience, except if the prayer itself is the instruction desired. Are we together? Oh God, you have commanded that I give. You spoke to me that the seed that will bring me to the next level is this. But Lord, I'm not interested in sowing. But can I pray for five hours to replace that? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Good master, what must I do to be saved? Most people do not inquire of the Lord again. What is the action step that represents the bridge between this level and the next. I sat down when I heard pastor say that he came into this city with 20 naira. Even those who came with 1 million are still suffering. They can't tell where it went to. It's, it's risky to walk alone. What made a man who came into a city with 20 naira? Now look what God is doing in and through his life. He is lucky, you will say. The commentator's ignorance. Until you find out the forces that were engaged with understanding. The times of prayer. Listen, when you listen to the stories of people, don't find what to laugh about. Find the, act, the points of action, the points of obedience. What connected pain to glory? How did God turn your mourning to dancing, your sorrow to joy? What happened, Jabez? I know your mother cost you. You came as a result of, she, she cost you because of sorrow. How did you become more honorable than your brethren? Jabez will tell you one day, number one, I got dissatisfied. I knew that there had to be more, that nobody is a biological mistake. And then I prayed and I said, oh God, that thou wouldest bless me. There are certain people, for instance, the reason why witchcraft continues to reign in your family is because you've not made prayer investment that makes the realm of the spirit know you are serious. You are still waiting and, and, and allowing darkness to reign. No matter how mad a man is, he never enters fire by mistake. As mad as he is, he can push your door by mistake but when he sees fire he has enough sense to know that this is fire and it hurts even in his madness there is that space for sanity he makes his ministers wings 
his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire there is a way you can get up and say i make it as a project i will take advantage of all the weapons of victory the blood the name the word and once and for all put an end to this pattern of tragedy you can start every night, one hour, 12 on the dot. Shakatos katia. Mambra katos ketebela katosia. The realm of the spirit will think you are playing. One month, you are still at it. You are like that woman in Luke 18. Avenge me, my adversary. The one who destroyed my great-grandfather. The one who took away the blessings of the land. The Bible says that George did not fear God nor regard man, but that defenseless widow, knowing how to come to him repeatedly because of her importunity, here was his testimony that though I do not fear God or regard man, this woman will weary me by her continuous coming. Lord, I have come again. It is me again, your son and your daughter. Ministry must walk in Abuja. Lord, I'm tired of jealousy and envy. Believing that other people were just lucky. I take responsibility and declare that the narrative over this work you have given me must change. Every land, like my pastor told me, is a good land. The riches of this land, you must find me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. There are very difficult places to go in this city, but not when you order a product and pay for it. When you order a product and pay for it, even if you are in the cave, the delivery man will find you because there was an instruction. They will find you until it gets to you. What order did you place in the realm of the spirit? And why are you complaining that nothing has come? It is not where you are. In the name of Jesus, I call for destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the riches of the earth and you are praying with understanding. Let me tell you the truth. There are many people who are givers, but they only obey God. They've not come to you because no instruction has been given to them about you. But it is within their power to release without restraint. Your assignment is to negotiate in the realm of the spirit with the father of spirits. And let him do the speaking to them. And they will come rushing like pastor said. I hope you are learning something tonight. You want to live an undeniable life, a life of evidence. Take away ignorance. Stop clapping that you have 35 simply because you are in the presence of people who have 30 and 20. All of you is still, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not insulting you, but I'm just speaking apostolically. 35 is still F. 39 is still F. 40 is E. E is barely passed. You won't go forward. There are those who have a B and in their world, B is F. They are still pressing. They have a bio, and there are those who have an A, but the A, they are not satisfied with 75. What, what of the remaining 25? You will see them at score 80 in the realm of the spirit, and they are still moving with the hunger of a student who has F. And we will never settle for less. We know. There's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less. Because we know there's more that's found in you. Prophesy to yourself. And we will never settle for less. We know. Listen, I will tell you this. One of the things I love about Reverend Godwin, honestly, and I'm not saying it because I'm on his stage, is his hunger and his passion for things. 
I have seen his response to the word of God. And I stand by the God of heaven to tell you, if you are connected to this vision and you've not drawn out of that spirit of hunger, you are missing a lot. I have seen his passion. I made up my mind. I am, a, as a principle, I don't flatter myself. I don't over pamper myself. If God has done something, Father, thank you. You pat yourself at the back, that's all right. Next walk on ground. What don't I know? Because there are still virgin lands. Don't allow people clap you into mediocrity and you remain there doing small things and celebrating yourself just because you are surrounded by people who are not seen far. Stretch and challenge yourself. There is more. You prayed for 30 people and only two God healed. Thank you, Father, because I remain thankful. But Lord, why didn't 28? What happened? The Bible says handkerchiefs and aprons were taken from the bodies of the apostle. Is that realm not attainable again? Lord, I return back to the altar. And you pray like you have never handled the healing anointing. And God says, I see your hunger and I see your fire. Let's measure a thousand cubits for you again. You are ready to dive deeper. Listen, let me tell you this. For someone, I came here to cast out this arrival mentality from you. Arrival mentality. Small things. Small things. Small things. Respectfully speaking, and I say this with every sense of honor, if you're a man of God here, let me challenge you by the Spirit. All of us together, there, there are, there, the journey is still very far. Please do not ever find yourself in any kind of flattery whatsoever. Thank God for that which we have seen. But compared to the master's expectation, we are only one step out of the cave. We have to be honest and stay. Pray like never before. Fast like never before. Get not from a competitive standpoint. Lord, I am enlarging my spiritual capacity until you give me the keys of nations. Don't be too quick to clap for yourself and celebrate yourself and say, I am better than this businessman, better than this. They comparing themselves with themselves, he says, are not wise. Are we together? You're a music minister. Don't sing and keep listening to yourself from morning till night. Just enjoying what you are doing. Is that the best? Challenge yourself. There can be more. There can be more. This is what I tell myself all the time. There can be more. Those who really re arrive are those who never intend to arrive. Those who really arrive are those who never intend to arrive. They don't even know when they've crossed the finish line because they are still moving. You mean I'm done? No, no, this can't be it. Hallelujah. Oh, apostle, but I'm a billionaire. I just made my first two billion. How much have you given the kingdom without it affecting you? If you still can give something and lack sleep, you are not yet wealthy enough. Keep pressing. Until you can get up and God can give you a list of 20 ministries. And you can bless them and still go back secured because you are not broke after giving. You've, you are not yet there. Don't say I have a house, I have some estates, I have a few cars. Thank God for that. We salute your diligence so far. But the king's business still requires more. Are we together? Oh man of God, I preached a wonderful message. And you can imagine how many people liked me. How many other people need to hear, need to be changed? Hallelujah. For as long as there is one person close to you who has not experienced the reality and the fullness of the life of God, take it as a challenge and keep pressing. I have prayed for people. I have seen people healed. But sadly, I have seen others who are not healed. That becomes my assignment. Thank God for those who were healed. 
I have prophesied to people and I've watched it turn their lives around. But I've seen a few who are still in waiting. Why is that so? I take responsibility for it and begin to press. Listen, this is the attitude of a winner. Our time is gone, but we're going to take five minutes. I don't know how you are going to cry to God. There has to be that holy anger in your spirit. Father, my life is not yet notable. Uh -uh. I, I confess that it is not yet, it is not yet beyond, it's not yet uh, um, undeniable. It, uh, it, 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 there's, there's still doubt as to whether you are the one helping me or not. There is still doubt whether I was genuinely called or not. Lift your voice and pray in one minute. Please pray. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. What a life. It's a new season for you. But contend in the place of prayer. Uncommon results. Uncommon dimensions. Lord, we step into virgin dimensions in the spirit of grace, of wisdom. Someone is praying. <laughs> Pray for your ministry. Pray for your family. Pray over the mantle upon your life. Lord, this cannot be it. I stretch. I stretch. I stretch. I stretch. I stretch. I stretch. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we are still praying. Please don't be distracted. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 13. Philippians 3 and verse 13. Please give it to us. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind. Yesterday's trophy, yesterday's result, Lord, I thank you for it. I thank you, but I know there is still more. It says, I reach forth to those things which are before is someone ready to pray you are a prophet have the nations had your voice we are still in confusion even though you are there don't say i have arrived go ahead and pray you are an apostle there are nations that are still in darkness you are a pastor you are a teacher there is still error around pray we all have not arrived we must pray greater grace oh god Shakatabatas, <laughs> Kingdom 
beyond sign and see there are greater levels surging dimensions businessman there are greater levels surging dimensions Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Job chapter 28. We are praying. Please don't be tired. Something is shifting in your life. From verse 7. Take me to the place. The place you are. The secret place. That's where I want to be. Will you take me to the place, the place you are, that secret place, that's where I want to be, that's where I want to be. Job 28 from verse 7, we're still praying. There is a path which no fowl knoweth. And which the vulture's eye has not seen. Next verse. The lion's whelps, even though he's a warrior, it has not gotten there. Nor the fierce lion passed there. Lord, where is that path where champions have not yet gotten to? That these birds, although they have an advantage of height, they've not been able to see that realm. The lion that does not fear any dimension, what heed that realm that he has not gotten there that is your next prayer point lord take me to that realm take me to that realm in ministry take me to that realm politically that realm of wonder that realm of grace someone is praying that realm of grace Please pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We will rise in your name. I don't know. You reign on high. We will rise in your name. I don't know. You reign on high. Hallelujah. Please do not miss the other sessions. I just have one minute to speak over your life tonight. I'm 
I'm seeing like 10, the number 10. And there are 10 people that God is calling you. Listen, God is telling you that many destinies are depending on you. Not just your family people, but many destinies. And the anointing of the Spirit is going to come upon you. Please, if I can have those people here just for one minute, we may not have all that time. Father, I am praying. I stretch my hands. Help them. Please, whether you are an usher or not, just, just do me a favor and help to bring them out. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare right now. I don't know where these people are, but Father, the mantle for their destiny. In the name of Jesus, please don't just come out. Uh, no, 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 no. You don't come out at random. The power of God himself will bring you, please. You don't come out at random. The power of God will bring you. Please bring them. As the power of God comes on them, please pick them and bring them. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my you hands don't right come now. Out at random. Walk them back. Walk them back. Please bring them out. Shalalamat sadabalagata baranda gadega sodobos. Skale brande gebaroskia. It's a new season. Something is coming upon you. Shanina salabaranda zelakosia tali katos. Embra kato zatia la haskada baladosiata. Enkrete geberete gete balakatoskia tabatia. There are some of you right now. God is trusting you with graces, the new wine. God is saying the old wine is finished. Hear me? Help them, please. The old wine, bring them out. The old wine is finished. God is saying you need a new wine skin because there is a new wine that I want to pour upon you in ministry, in business. The old wine skin. Don't celebrate the glory of yesterday. Yesterday is gone. There is a new wine coming upon you. But you need a new wine skin. Ashalanza nika pare katoshiata. Legate brendeke pakatos koto brendegeta. Imbretike peleketos kasidegetea. The Lord is showing me one person. You are into the prophetic ministry. I'm seeing the hand of the Lord come upon you right now. The Lord is saying there is a dealing. Help that woman that he needs to begin to start with you because the nations are waiting the nations are waiting the nations are waiting i declare by the spirit please help her Sir, is this man a man of God? Are you a pastor? What do you do? Do you do politics? Very much. Politics. Very much. Very much in politics. Yes, sir. I'm a, I'm a politician. Yeah, he's a member. I want to pray for you. There is wisdom that God, no, 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 I'm not going to lay hands on you. There is wisdom that God is bringing upon you. It's one thing to help many, but God will have to use others to help you. I stretch my hands. May that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ that you have helped many god will use many to help you i stretch my hands upon you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there is a woman i'm seeing you in a vision you were backing a baby the hand of god is coming upon you you are a deliverer even over your family in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god i decree and declare i don't know where that person is but may that fire that comes from heaven, please help this man. I declare, may that fire rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus, for you will never be the same. You will never be the same. We're about rounding up. I'm hearing in my spirit restoration. There are people who have lost particularly money. 
you've lost whether in business you've lost money in some kind of venture listen let me tell you the, the name of the lord is a strong tower the bible says the righteous run it to it and they are saved can i prophesy over you in the name of jesus everyone here anything that has left you that should not have gone i stand by the god of heaven and in partnership with the grace and the mantle upon god's servant here i declare in the name of jesus receive restoration receive restoration under a certain condition everything that leaves you can return but until and unless that condition is put in place in the name of jesus i decree and declare again receive restoration receive restoration in the name of jesus christ please help someone who is going to shout loud at the back i just saw light i would always see this Emmanuel, 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 your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called. hallelujah one last person is there someone here in the judiciary the judiciary you are a i don't know whether you're a, a, a legal practitioner i just the lord just showed me something about someone that has to do with a judiciary please help them mighty god i don't know where that person is but in the name of Jesus, I am praying for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 You are in the judiciary, madam? Yes, sir. Do you believe God is able to lift? Yes, sir. You, you too, mama? Practitioner. Legal practitioner. Can I pray for you? Father, I stretch my hands over these precious people here at this assembly and also this man you are the one who is able to lift men i decree and declare by this mantle and this grace in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god may my god lift you step into a new season now help that woman please in the name of jesus i decree madam there is such a grace that is coming on you this woman the first woman who came out I'm seeing you climb a ladder in the realm of the spirit and the Lord is saying he's lifting you. I declare this, I stretch my hands towards you. That fire that will make for your lifting, let it rest upon you. All of you who have come out as touching legal professions in the name of Jesus Christ, any embargo of witchcraft keeping you down, I curse it right now. I release you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead go and excel go and excel go and excel go and excel above and beyond divination above and beyond enchantment go and excel i extend that prayer to everyone here if there is anything that has held you down so that you are at the same position year in year out Help them, please. Aye, 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 I aye, call aye. on my God. Makatos katebakata. Embrace it. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. I declare a prophetic jubilee. A prophetic jubilee. Everything tying you down. Please help them. Everything holding you down. I declare a prophetic jubilee now. Here at this conference, undeniable release from curses, undeniable release from spells, from enchantments in the name of Jesus Christ. Please help them at the back there, my God, so they don't enjoy themselves. Please pray in one minute. I declare my release. I declare my release. It's time to go forward. Someone is declaring.
I release you, I release you in the name of Jesus. Every power that says you will not rise, that says you will not move forward, that says Abuja or your environment will be hostile, I come against it by the blood. In the name of Jesus. And for all those who are out here, I declare by the Spirit of God that everything that is related to yokes, please help them, my God. Everything that is not of God, for all those who have come, every yoke, every spell, every enchantment, right now at the count of three, it lets you go now and forever. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Go, go, go out of their lives in the name of Jesus, out of their destinies. The Bible says, Now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I prophesy liberty in Jesus' name. I pray. In Jesus' name, I pray. Please listen to me. If you are here in this place, God bless you, those in front those who can please let them just gently return back you are in this place please spare me a minute you came for this conference you are outside you are inside up the balcony or watching no matter where you are watching from and you are saying apostle as i heard you teach i'm realizing right now that i have heard the gospel many times but i've not taken that step of obedience to genuinely make Jesus Lord of my life. Or you might be saying, I, I remember coming across in genuine repentance, but as it is now, my life has gone haywire. I need rededication fast. We have just one minute for you. Whether you are up the balcony or down, please don't wait for anyone to be the first. You arrive here before them. I'm going to count one to three. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand before Jesus here as we appreciate them. One, are you coming? Let's honor them as they come. Run to Jesus. Swallow your pride. Run to Jesus. A new beginning, oh God. Don't enjoy anyone. Please take it easy. Take it easy. Run to Jesus. While you are standing here, don't look at me. Cry before the Lord. Show me mercy, oh God. You look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and poured your love. You look beyond me, oh. You look beyond me, oh. You look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and poured your love. You look beyond me, oh. You look beyond me, oh. Keep coming. I'm the one. You have shown mercy. You have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. Sing, I'm the one, say. You have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. Listen. No, that's a demonic thing. Let him go now. Out! Now! In the name of Jesus. Please look at me, those of you in front. Thank you so much for making this bold decision. Look at me. The Bible says, as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. This is not some jamboree in church. This is a genuine decision that will turn the course of your life around. That you will forget that here at Word Alive, you had an encounter with Jesus. Indeed, it will be undeniable. May I request in one minute that you lift your hand high above your head as a sign of surrender. And for anyone who may be watching from across the globe by way of television or by way of the internet, the Lord Jesus is speaking to you. Here is your chance to make it right with Jesus. He said, ye must be born again. For if our hope is only in this world, the Bible declares that we are all most miserable. Please lift your right hand. I want you to say it this loud and clear. You are not reciting a poem. 
this is a confession of faith that will translate to the administration of the life of God in your spirit. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe with my heart that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive you into my heart as my Lord, as my Savior, and as my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I am a child of God. I am a recipient of eternal life. I go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name. Keep your hands lifted. Father, we thank you for these ones. In the name of Jesus, you have brought them by your spirit. And Lord, you have granted them the privilege of being partakers of your life through the new birth experience. I commend you to the word of God and to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be grounded and established in righteousness in the name of Jesus. As for you, you will only go from glory to glory and from grace to grace. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen and amen. Any instructions for them? Okay. Please. Okay, all of you who are here, may I please request that you follow the counselors waving their hands. Let's honor them as they go. They'll have a word with you very quickly. Please keep clapping until they go. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Now, let me lend my voice with pastor and encourage you. I understand that if I'm right, there are two sessions or at least two sessions with me here. We're here tomorrow in the morning again. Am I right, sir? Yes, sir. Tomorrow in the morning and on then Sunday on Sunday morning again. Please, tomorrow, uh, the morning session, make sure that you do not come alone. You see what God is doing. For some of you, whilst you're watching, the Holy Spirit is telling you there is so, 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 and so who needs to be here for their life to be transformed. Do the work of an evangelist and bring them, even if inside is filled, I'm sure that there will be other provisions. And then please make it, even if it is a sacrifice you have to make for the Sunday service so that God can give you the balance of what he started. The Bible says better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. But as for tonight, the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Jam the sense together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The Lord bless you very good in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we celebrate the Lord once again? Celebrate His grace. Celebrate His hand upon the life of His servant. What a night. What a night. What a night. Father, we, we thank you. Just take your seat briefly. Awesome teaching that took place this night. Awesome teaching that took place this night. A lot's been said divine directions, divine instructions, the supernatural revelations that will guarantee acceleration on every side. Your lives will never be the same. Tomorrow morning, we'll be back here by 9 o'clock. By 8.30, you should be seated. 8.15, I mean, um, 8.30, 8.45, you should be seated. And 9, we take off immediately. Your lives will never be the same. Once again, can we celebrate the Lord and celebrate his servant? Thank you so very much, sir. The Lord bless us, we good. So much word of wisdom, insight. Don't go anywhere until we share the grace, please. Don't walk out of God so that blessings don't walk out of you. Relax your mind. The man of God didn't waste his time or waste our time. Ushers, take care of that quickly. 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 Ushers. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we're back here tomorrow. Today's your first time in World of Life. Can you we bless you, please? Your first time. Pick your Bible, pick your bag, just come forward. Just come forward. Hallelujah. Your Bible, your bag, just come forward. Quickly. Help them come forward. Help them come. Where's Pastor Ben? Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. 
subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development Lord grant me the discipline